channel. My name is Danica and I'm the Fit Mom Lifestyle on Instagram, Like to Know It, and TikTok. And today we're going to be talking about all the things I purchased in the Sephora VIB sale or the spring sale. I'm not quite sure what they call it anymore. And it is currently 8.20 on Friday, April 1st. So I went to work today and then after work went to Sephora, picked up all my stuff, and I want to get this up as quickly as I can for you. So I have two bags here. This huge bag was my online order that I purchased. I made it this morning and I did pick up in store and then of course I had to walk around the store and I got another bag. I don't know why they gave me a brown bag. I've never seen this before but these are the things that I purchased in store. So I am done. Um, I say that like I'm telling myself I'm done because this is a lot of stuff and I need to not buy anymore. Um, but anyway, if you want to see what I got and I did get some really good stuff, then just keep watching. Okay, so I just organized everything in front of me and I would say I have mostly skincare, a little bit of makeup, and then some body stuff, one hair care product, and then a couple gift sets. So that's what we're going to get into. Um, excuse my appearance. Like I said, it's now it is 8.30 and I did my makeup over 12 hours ago, so I mean I think it looks pretty good. Um, so before we get into all of this, um, I wanted to share just like the dates and stuff, which is actually super helpful. So I'll put a graphic up here with the information, but basically the Sephora sale started today, April 1st, and it goes through the 11th and it's 20% off um, for Rouge from the 1st through the 11th, and then VIB can start on the 5th, and then they're from the 5th through the 11th, and then insiders can start and shop on the 7th with 10% off, and that's for anybody. So if you don't have a Sephora um, like account, a Beauty Insider account, you could sign up now and then get the 10% on April 7th. So those are the dates for that, and then I also just have to say, so last night I actually went to bed like right at midnight and I was like, oh, the Sephora sale is live and I had everything kind of sitting in my cart and I was about to purchase and you know when you get to like Costco, you get to the front of the line and they ring everything up and you're like, oh my gosh, like how is it $200 or how is it like whatever it is or you know when you get to Target, that's how I was looking at my Sephora cart last night at like midnight. I was like, how am I already at like $300, $400? I didn't get anything fun. Like, you know, when you get to the Costco line and you have like toilet paper and you're like, where, why am I being charged so much? I had just like restocks of all my stuff. I was like, I didn't even get the fun stuff yet. So needless to say, I didn't place that order because I was like half asleep. And then I got up this morning, placed the order, did pick up and then obviously picked it up. So that's, that's my background story to this event. Um, before I start talking about the products, if you like these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and give this video a thumbs up, and let's get into the products. Okay, so I just adjusted my lighting a little bit so it might look a little different. So first let's talk about the sets that I grabbed because those are like my favorite things to get during these events because I think they're so fun. So the first one that I got was the Sephora Favorites Clean Me Up kit and this is what it looks like um everything will obviously be linked down below so um this set was 32 dollars and the retail value is 86 so this has like some sag products kosas merit ilia tower 28 i love this spray i actually have it i'll be showing it to you later i've been wanting to try the merit um i think it's called lip oil so anyway yeah tinted lip oil I just I like clean products ever since I you know was pregnant like three years ago now I have been more um, you know conscious of what's in my beauty products and I try to choose cleaner options when I can so I just thought this was a fun set to try it has a lot of lip products in it and so that's always fun I love lips and mascara and like good skin and that's basically what this is so that's the first thing. The second set that I thought was also really fun is called the Sun Safety Kit. So this is what that set looks like. And this was $39. Retail value is $185. I don't know if I totally believe that, but this has 
the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. This has the Dr. Jart Green Solution, which I actually got in a full size. I'll talk about that soon. It has a Kiehl Sunscreen, a Lancome Sunscreen, Clinique, Vent Fenty Beauty sunscreen, Glow Recipe, just like a bunch of good sunscreens. And again, another thing that I try to prioritize and I just think it's, you know, good to have going into spring and summer. Obviously you need sunscreen year round, but especially spring and summer. Um, and then the next and last set that I got was the Necessaire Body Set. So this has the exfoliator, the body wash, the serum, and the body lotion. I have used the body wash before in Eucalyptus and I love it. My husband loves it. It is definitely expensive for a body wash, but it's kind of something that's nice to have and like a little bit of a treat. Um, and then when I was in the store, I used the body serum on my hands and oh my goodness, like my hands right now are so soft. So I really just wanted to try this set. So I grabbed that. That actually reminds me, I do have three items that actually are coming that I couldn't get in the store. I totally forgot about that. Let me pull up my app and tell you guys about those products because obviously those are not in front of me. Um, let's see, how would I see that? I think, oh no, that's the order that I picked up. So okay so i will just post a little screenshot of these so i got the way heat protectant spray obviously these are not in categories because i forgot about them the way heat protectant spray that i want to try right now i'm using the color wow one and it's fine i don't love it so i wanted to get something else and then i did get the necessaire deodorant gel in eucalyptus so that's kind of what reminded me of it I wanted, I, I do like um, clean deodorant, so I use Kopari, or right now I'm using, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? I forget, but I got it in the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale in a pack. Um, oh, it's, I'm totally blanking on the brand. If I can remember it, I will put it on the screen. Um, but I kind of like cycle through different clean deodorants, so I thought I would try that one. And then I also got the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. So I currently use for like my bottom lashes, um, I think it's Maybelline. It's just one from the drugstore that I like, and it's like a smaller wand. But I wanted to try this Clinique one. So I grabbed those things. So let's move on. I have one hair care product. This, is, this was a splurge. So this is the K18... I don't even know how to say that hair science hair mask so this is supposed to be kind of like similar to the Olaplex number three which I absolutely love but I wanted to try this one so I don't really have much to say about it other than I've heard really great reviews it really helps your hair and I wanted to try it so that's the one hair product that I got other than the online order and then let's talk about body products um, I also had ordered the Necessaire body wash in eucalyptus in the full size before I got this little set so some of these things I might like decide between and you know just keep one or the other but I did want one of these again like I said this is kind of a luxury like nice thing when you want to take a nice shower I don't use this every day it's like a special thing for me and then I grabbed a few tanning products, so I'm going to obviously group those into the body section. So this is the Tan Lux, the Gradual Illuminating Gradual Tan Lotion, I guess. I don't think this came in like dark, ultra dark or whatever medium. Um, I just wanted to try this. I've heard good things about this. Right now I'm using the Loving Tan, um, what is it, Tanning Mousse in dark, and I'm almost out of it so I wanted something new so I grabbed that and then this is something that I love the Isle of Paradise tanning drops in dark so I use these I feel like I'm kind of sitting far away from the camera so I'll move up a little I use these um like all the time every couple days I'll put these on and so um I'll take like maybe three to five drops depending on how tan I want to be and I'll just mix it in the palm of my hand with my moisturizer and put it all over my face get it like in my hairline everything I love this um some people don't seem to like those but I've used those since um pregnancy so for three years I've been using that I did grab this one the Saint Tropez bronzing water face mist again this was just another bronzing product that I wanted to try with spring and summer coming um, or spring is here with summer coming 
I just love being like tan and wearing less makeup and I've kind of like toned down my makeup a little bit even now so Anyway, that's why I don't have a ton of makeup products either. I actually did not buy any eyeshadow palettes because in the last Sephora sale, like fall and winter, I feel like when they have the fall sale, I buy one, a ton of sets because of the holidays, but two, I love to get like the eyeshadow palettes and like, just like, I feel like I buy more because I'm putting on more makeup, whereas this time of the year, I want like bronzy, glowy products with healthy skin, and so like my... The things that I'm buying are just different, like at the two events. So let's get into the um, the makeup. So I don't have a lot, like I said. I grabbed, um, let's see, let's start with the airbrush setting spray. So I love the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting spray. I grabbed two. Um, I bought a set of two in the last Sephora sale and I just ran out of them. So I wanted the large size, but they were sold out. So my store had the small, so I grabbed two of them. I use that every day to set my makeup and I've gotten a lot of compliments at work and stuff with how well my makeup lasts. And I really do think that it's this because I mean, I, my bronzer and highlight and blush are still pretty good considering it's been 12 hours, I think. Um, so anyway, I got that and then I got this to try. They only had the little small size. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter. I got 4.5. I've never tried this, but um, I've obviously heard good things and they only had the mini in stock. So grab that. Then I got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This isn't fair. I use this under my eyes to set my eyes. Um, and I have not been wearing concealer. I just put on like, I actually, I th I'm thinking of doing like my current makeup routine. Comment down below if you want to see that. Um, and I'll link all the products that I use on a regular basis. I think that, you know, I wasn't sure how much Sephora content to put out, but I think that might be helpful for you. So comment down below if you want to see my current routine with the products that I use, because then maybe you can, you know, maybe you would want to buy some of those products. So Anyway, I use this to kind of just set under my eyes and brighten. And then I was using, I got the Hourglass, um, the, what is it called? Like the face palette um, last sale. And I was using that to set my whole face. And I love it because it gives such a beautiful glow. And that just ran out as well. So I instead grabbed the Hourglass Ambient Lighting um, powder and this is in the radiant light which is one of the colors in that set I'm trying to find the color I want to make sure I got the right one yeah radiant light because they actually missed a couple things that were supposed to be in here so I actually got the um the benefit gimme brow I got this in two colors but one of them is missing so I'll try and maybe call them or stop by tomorrow and see if I can get it but I got this one in the 3.75 warm medium brown and then I also grabbed I think it was the four um, was the other one that I had ordered because I wasn't sure which one to get but again love this for summer when I'm just doing like glowy healthy like natural looking skin and brows love that and then I did grab a couple of these eyeliners. If you didn't know, all of the Sephora products are 30% off, so um, regardless of your tier. So I got two Sephora eyeliners that I wanted to try. I just got the, I think it was called like Brown Black. Yeah, Matte Brown Black. So I got this one. And then I got Shimmer Taupe, which looked really pretty. So I have big eyes and I like to water my um, waterline on the bottom of my eye just to like make my eyes look a little smaller I guess I don't know just to find them so I thought the taupe would be fun and pretty and like sparkly and then just like brown black is just basic and then I did grab another one of these Sephora lip stains I grabbed the color 66 I don't remember what color this is but I'll have it listed down below these are so great for work because I put them on in the morning and they last all day. So this is just like a neutral, very basic color, but again, will look really pretty with like bronzy skin. Um, I don't know why it doesn't want to focus, but there you go. So just a good nude. So that's it for makeup and then skincare. So a couple of replenishments. Um, I really like this um, Drunk Elephant cleanser um this is what do you call this it's the um like an oil cleanser 
why am I blanking? It's like literally 8.30 at night and I'm just tired. So um, yeah, I like to use this to take off my makeup at the end of the day. Um, I bought this in the last sale and I just finished it and I decided to repurchase. So um, I really like it. I use the makeup eraser to take it off once I get in the shower. So I will like get this on my counter, rub it on my face, kind of let it sit for a minute, get in the shower, grab my makeup eraser, wipe off my makeup and it's perfect. And then I wash my face after that. So that was a repurchase. Then both my husband and I love this Belief True um, Cream Aqua Balm. We love this face lotion. We use this like basically every morning. Um, I love to use this as my morning moisturizer. It's very light. I don't know why it's having a hard time focusing. My camera's tired. Focusing. My camera's tired too. Um, then I grabbed... I actually got the mini of this in the last sale. This is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Peptide Cream. So this one I plan to use at night um, with my, I have a Summer Fridays face oil that I use. That one I didn't need to repurchase. But um, this is one I use at night. And like I said, I got a mini in a set at Christmas time. So I really liked that. Um, I also got another Summer Fridays um, Lip Butter Balm. This is just the like vanilla shade the regular color I love these I have one in my car one on my nightstand and then I have the tinted one at my desk so I love these they are just a good um like gloss and they make your lips feel so nourished um then this is another thing I guess these are all like a lot of these are repurchases this is kind of what I, what I was talking about where I was like I didn't even get anything new to try but these are just things that I love so I also got the um Dr. Jart Tiger Grass color correcting treatment apparently this blew up on TikTok I don't know I've been using it for the last six months or so this is so good so I like to use this it's like a green moisturizer but it also has SPF 30 so I do my moisturizer and then I put this on as like my sunscreen color correcting treatment and literally I can put this on and then I take my Tula like eye brightening balm um, that I have and then I'll put that on and then I'll set with the Charlotte Tilbury and then I'll take the hourglass powder and put it on and then my bronzer blush highlight my face is done. So I literally use this in lieu of a foundation or or I don't know like skin tint anything like that because it goes on green and then it color cracks and makes your skin all like one color and it's perfect like it's it's really cool and I love that it's like a treatment and it's got sunscreen in it so anyway I really love that then I grabbed the Laneige lip sleeping mask in vanilla Another purchase from the last time I got it in peppermint. I actually still have some left. So i had heard some people say that this lasts like months and months. And I was like, okay, like, yeah, right. But I use it every night. Sometimes my husband uses it and my son has used it and we still have some left. And I literally got it in November. I probably started using it in December. So I've had it and used it for at least four full months and there's still some left. So I just bought another one because I love it. We all love it. Then this is another thing that I love, the Tower 28 Daily Facial Spray. So um, they repackaged this. It used to be like a clear package. So I initially bought this in the last sale in the mini size, put it in my car, loved it. Um, it does have like a salty taste because, or not like you're supposed to taste it, but you know, if it gets on your lips, it's like, it's like salt. It tastes like sea salt. So it is, um, what is it? It's like says water and sodium chloride. So this is supposed to help your skin. Um, it says SOS helps seriously soothe stressed out skin. Wow, that's hard to say. Our hero ingredient, hypochloric acid, chloric acid, maximizes your good skin days by reducing the appearance of redness and supporting the skin's renewal process. So I just heard this was good for like problem skin and my skin has actually been really good the last few months, but um, I just love having like a facial spray and I really like this. I have gone through too many bottles and now I have a large bottle like this in my car and I wanted one for my desk at work. So, um, that's what I got this for. I had a, um, an esthetician once tell me that my skin was not cause I have oily skin. She's like, your skin is not dry 
but it's dehydrated. So keep a facial spray by and spray your face at least like once or twice throughout the day. Especially like I work in an office. It's just like you're not getting fresh air. You need to like keep your skin hydrated. So that's why I got that and um, I don't know. I, I like it so far. And then the last thing that I got is the Summer Fridays um, CC Serum. So this is the Vitamin C Serum. I use right now the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum and I like it. But again, I just wanted to try something different. So I grabbed this. I like the Summer Fridays um what is it called it's like the it's it's the face oil I'm I'm sorry I'm blanking on everything right now but I will have I'll, I'll link that one down below for you too if you're interested but I really like that I use that one at night so I wanted to try this one for the morning so those are all of my products um I know it was a lot and I like I said I'm done I got some replacements of things that we love and use all the time and then I got a few fun things to try but I mean I know that's a lot of stuff, but I don't think I went crazy. Like, I didn't buy a bunch of new things to try. I've, like, waited from the last sale till now to replace a lot of this stuff. And so a lot of this was things that I had, like, on my wish list that I needed. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And like I said, let me know, let me know down below if you want to see my current makeup routine, if that would be helpful for you. I was also thinking of doing um, like my Sephora must-haves because obviously there are some things here or that aren't here that I love um, that I was wondering if you would be interested in seeing. Again, I don't know how much Sephora content you want to see, so let me know down below. I can definitely do that over the next week or so if that's something that you are curious about, but those are the things that I got. Thank you so much for watching. I am so tired. I'm going to go have dinner. It's almost 9 o'clock now, but um, hopefully I can get this up for you tomorrow, April 2nd, and I guess I will see you in my next video.